So this is the Ordnance Survey map um, around Winchcombe, where we walked, well, hoping to walk. Um, you can just see the high street here. So the route that we we followed is marked in blue. So we just took the Warden's Way road down past Sudley Castle and up the hill to Sudley Lodge. And walked along the top there to Sudley Hill Farm, up quite a steep hill, St Kenelm's Well, and then carried on up to the top of Salt Way. Cut across from there and then dropped down the Gloucestershire Way all the way back to the High Street. And then we just cut through the back there, it's called Riverside Walk or the Ishbourne Way back to Castle Street and back to the car park in the middle of town. So today we're doing some nice walks from Winchcombe hopefully. It's the first time we've explored so don't really know what we're doing but we found a nice long stay car park at the back of town called Back Lane and it's only £1.40 for the whole day in January so it's pretty cheap. I looked on the council website and it says you can park motorhomes here as long as you can fit all four wheels into the space which we have been able to do um, there's not that many big spaces our van is only 6.3 long so you have to decide if you can park there or not there's one coach space but it literally says coaches only so yeah so we're right in the sort of just the, off the main high street here and hopefully this little path will take us down to Cow Lane which then meets up with the high street so let's have a little look I think this is Cow Lane on the map down towards the high street Vineyard Street, this is called, heading down towards Sudley Castle. Where is this way?
that way from the right, from Salt Way. Um, and this says Gloucestershire Way that way, Gloucestershire Way that way. We actually went down here, which I believe is Salter's Lane, because that's Hail on the Hill Farm over there. But what we, we came back up to this signpost because actually we realised we need to go across this way back down towards Winchcombe. You can go that way. I think it cuts down to uh, Puck Lane, I think it's called, or Puck Pit Lane, something like that. Um, but it's a bit of a longer way and we're getting a bit weary. So yeah, so come down the hill from Salt Way and turn left down the Gloucestershire Way. So just walking along the Gloucestershire Way, we're a bit sheltered from the wind this side of the hill. But it's a lovely open aspect again. Look in the fields. And then just over that hill, I think we then start dropping down to Winchcombe Town. Yeah, it'd be lovely on a sunny day. Pretty nice today though. I don't know how we're going to clean you two up. It's all so filthy. I'm not sure if it hasn't me out. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so that's Winchcombe Town down there. I think we have to keep, like, left. Yeah. Getting to doubt slightly. Totally locked. It shouldn't happen on a main footpath. But anyway, I climbed over and I just went under. So we're going to carry on. Hopefully, end up somewhere. Just having a minor nervous breakdown. This path is horrendous. As you can see the mud and it's steep. And I can't really let the boys off because there's lots of sheep. I wish I could just get a helicopter to winch me out. I I just better keep on going. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, this little lane here is called Rushley Lane, leading to Stankham Lane. So we just walk down, and then that meets the main B4632, which is the road into Punchcombe. So we're just going to walk back that way. So yeah, just at that junction, we've just come off of Rushley Lane. We were going to follow the, road, the footpath by the road, and then we saw this, it's called the Ishbourne Way, or Riverside Path. Just walk the back way to Michigan. So it looks like a nice dry, civilised path. So we've just come out at the end of the Ishbourne Way. There's some cottages. Sidley Castle Country Cottages. So we're back in Winchcombe and we've just come up Castle Street. Castle Street. A bit busier now than it was earlier. I'm going to try and figure out which way to get back to the car park. I think it's just up there. 